Hello and welcome back Aries. This is going to be your mid-May into June reading for 2023. Of course, whatever time you're viewing this video, it is appropriate, but um, let's go ahead and get started here and take a look at love and then money. Okay. Trust. Trust in what? The twin flame energy. All right. What is Twin Flame saying to us? It's bringing freedom. Bringing in freedom from where? From a place of yoga, meditation, knowing your spiritual self. As well as positive changes that have recently happened to you. I anticipate that um, you, you are newly falling in love. Um, if you are looking to receive love, this person is going to be a long-term partner who benefits you spiritually in the long run. Let's look into this person a little bit more. The spiritual law of attraction is bringing this person to you and is working in your favor. Balance in your home and spiritual life and career life are definitely assisting in this power of manifestation because you are ready to receive at this point, Aries, the answer is yes, you will be finding love if you are single. And for those of you currently in love, you will have a renewed sense of um, belonging, what is important, what is vital, provided that your spiritual well-being is in order. So go now into the future fearlessly, abundantly, and uh, anticipate wonderful things with mother, wife, sister, daughter, the divine feminine energy is definitely working in your favor. And I expect that... and. And this is because of all the healing that has happened, okay? Um, healing of the womb, healing from within, um, inner workings and, and things like that. Aries, let's take a look at what else is happening with love. Let's take a look at love with this deck. Love for Aries. To be clear, I do like pre-shuffle pretty extensively before I get on camera. All right, being too frivolous or too cautious, good business decisions are being made at this time with regard to love. So you are making the right choices. Inflow of abundance, promising new business adventures, important documents and contracts are coming in as a result of having a balanced love life. It looks like career is at the forefront here. Uh, time for positive changes and situations that move forward very quickly. Fortune is, in fact, on your side um, when this is with the wheel. Um, Archangel Michael is giving you divine timing with these positive changes that move forward. Uh, how is your partner receiving these things? Can I take a look at that? News of an exciting new ende endeavor, um, potentially outgoing, confident. Um, maybe they get a new job and you follow them across the country. It could be something like that. Challenging information, delays to plans. Um, the truth is delivered without tact. Again, some, some good news is coming in very quickly and you might be unprepared for it. Um, potentially, your partner is the one getting a windfall of money. Um, but you want to look at the information carefully, of course. Don't jump in, into anything without, without thinking. But listen to your intuition and have patience and consider what you really want to do before acting. So before you follow your partner's money and success across the country, consider your own well-being. And I think this is a good place to go back to money for your own self. So let's take a look here. Don't give up. Protect what you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Um, too much work and not enough play. But be sure to have... Um, Accepted help from others. I try to have balance. And this is with Ten of Fire. Ten of Fire, um, in my mind, um, I think it's always a dragon, no matter what the deck is. Um, if it's not a dragon, it should be. Uh, that's really just one of my favorites. Um, Ten of Fire and Ten of Pentacles are like the conclusion of something that's done but things are looking up the end of a different difficult situation and you might be taking a trip like i said you're going to be traveling with your significant other and it is work related it is money related it is monetarily related with for you aries it's a wonderful and beautiful thing i expect there to be lots of such happenings with there being so much going on in the world um and travel 
was at a standstill, but I did say that there was a conclusion. So six of air is saying that things are looking up, things are picking up speed again. Let's take a look at the full situation before we make those plans. But I think journaling, looking at a map, um, anticipating what our hotel stops are going to be is definitely going to provide a lot of clarity and clarification here. The end of a phase or spiritual transformation, time to move on. So if you're thinking about moving, you definitely are. Abundance and things look very good. Have patience. Make long-term plans for the future. Absolutely. Power of creativity, being a team player, and delivering high-quality work. In what regard can I get uh, idea here? Don't be overly focused on material things or negative thoughts. Okay? So... So don't be, don't be too focused on the wrong things. Have positive thoughts and positive manifestations of being a team player and everything working for the best because you have put in so much planning and diligence into this trip, okay? Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. It's time to move in a new direction. You absolutely are. That is absolutely very busy, very, it's very uh, unlike Aries. Um, I would have expected it to be a little more violent, but you are really, really just doing the damn thing. Can I get any final messages from this deck? And then I'll move on to the next final messages. I feel like pulling from the bottom. So let me do that. Okay, from the bottom of this deck, we have the two of fire. You're coming to your own new partnerships, contracts, and continue to move forward. Yes. Then we have star. Happy times make positive and optimistic long-term plans. You are on the right path with the star that is carrying strong Aquarius energy. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. What did I discuss? The person that you're with is going to go on a change. You are bringing in new love and your intuition is on fleek. So it all feels wonderful. Great sadness, a time to heal. Um, need to forgive yourself and others. Okay. So uh, time for forgiveness, time to let things go from the past. Don't let the past follow you. And especially surrounding fears of money, the wisdom to accept health, help from others. Okay, so just put planning, good planning skills and attention into your trip, into your journey that you're making um, with this person. Um, lots, it's like definitely 100% household and money related. It's related to the finances. It's related to whoever you're going to be with next. It's related to the person you're with now. Um, this is very busy. Let's get some final messages from this deck. Please listen to the perspective of others' point of view and in what regard. All right. If someone is expressing concern for your health, please listen to that. Uh, be sure to check like your thyroid, um, something with a throat. But listen to what uh, others are saying to you. Listen to what elders are telling you. They are, they are coming from a place of love and wisdom. They're not coming from a place of malice. Choose peace for yourself. And know what your priorities are. Okay. So possibly, Aries, you have been doing a bit too much. Your body has been taking a beating. Um, this deck is giving you this message here to just pay attention to what your body's telling you. You might not notice it, but someone in your family, someone in your circle might have remarked on how you look a little thin or you look a little pale or you don't seem the same. Um, that might be worth following up on. Okay. Come out of the closet with what? with your focus and priorities because you can do it. Okay, so step out of the box, step out of your shell, continue to move forward and be blessed with receiving these wonderful things that the God and Goddess are giving you. Stay focused on, of course, uh, the priorities, the goals, the long-term goals especially. If you haven't written them down or manifested them in any capacity, now's the time to do so. Um, you can do it with Archangel Michael. Ultimately, Aries, what's happening is something for the greater good and benefit of your entire self for the long term. And I think this will hold you through through the rest of the year. When you do see the changes and the signs and you get the letters and you get the renewal and you get the lease renewal and you get job offers from different areas, you're going to see what 
these cards trying to say that they're just trying to push you out of your current region into a new one. So that's a big one. That's a big thing right there. Um, Aries, I adore you very much. Thank you so much for coming to watch. Shay with Solstice Psychic Readings. All of my links are in the description below. Do not get scammed. I'm on everything. I will see you all next time.